everybody. It's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have a 16 by 20. Uh, it's called a Da Vinci Pro panel and I got it from Jerry's Artorama. You can see it there. And I put down my base coat and let's go over all my paints. First of all, my base coat is a combination of Rust-Oleum, Metallic Champagne, and DecoArt Rich Espresso. If you can see those. My next color is DecoArt Metallic's Obsidian. Very pretty, really dark gray, shiny color there. My next color is DecoArt Metallics Copper. And my next color is the Arteza Gold. And their gold is a very, very uh, soft gold. My next color is Liquitex Basics Silver. And my next color is a combination of Amsterdam, greenish blue, and I did add just a little bit of the uh, silver to that, just to spark it up a little bit. And my last color is, I wanted a bronze, and I used Folk Art Solid Bronze at first, but that looks so much like the copper I was using. What I did is I added a little bit of the bronze from Blick just to make it quite a bit different. So today I'm going to be doing a multiple tr uh, ring pour. And um, I've already poured all my colors in my cups. I have five cups and I did stagger the colors. I'm not sure I'm going to use all the cups, but... Um, I'm going to get started here with the first cup. Oh, pouring medium. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and about a teaspoon of the Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. And I did not add any silicone today. So I'm just going to get started with my first cup here. A lot of metallics today. You can see that obsidian there. It's so pretty. Like I said, it's a dark gray. And I have tried to move my camera back a little bit. Um, one of my subscribers said that she couldn't see me tilt everything, so I'm hoping this will help. And if not, I do have on order an extension for my um, camera and my tripod, so hopefully that will take care of part of the problem. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tip this first cup. And hopefully you can see most of that. I'm going to tip it down. Then I'm going to bring it back and tip it this way. I've been watching a lot of Kathleen Osmore of Cos, that's C-O-Z Creations lately, and Kathleen's been doing a lot of metallics, a lot of these um, ring pours, and so I thought I would give it a try too. And she tips between each cup, so I am going to give that a try today. I've never done that before. I've always... Before this, I've always uh, 
put all my paint down and then tipped. But I will try it this way today. See what the difference is. And I have taped around the edge of my uh, board here. There's a little lip on the edge. And I've just taped under that lip so I can let the paint run over. And then after it's dry, I can bring that, that tape up. Okay, I'm going to go with my next cup here. And I definitely don't think I'll need all my cups, but that's okay. I can save those for another pour. Now on this one, I got a lot of that really pretty blue coming through. Okay, I'm going to do some tipping now. I will try and keep you in camera as much as I can here. I'm going to let that one run off a little bit there. And then bring it back. Okay. And now I'm going to go for my third cup. And I just randomly chose a spot to do this. And I think I'll only use partial cup on this one. And then I'll pour some more of it down in this area. And this one looks like it has a lot of the bronze in it. Okay. And one trick that I've learned is you can take your skewer and just fix up that little circle in the end there with the, the end of your skewer. Okay, I'm gonna try a little tipping with these now. I really do like that light color there and that that circle. I'm going to tip it this way a little. And now I'm going to bring it down this way. And bring it back. Let's 
see what I have here. Okay, I am going to use uh, another cup. And I'm just gonna, I think this area looks a little plain here, so I'm going to see if I can add a little interest to it here with another cup. And again, I won't use all the cup. Just fix that circle again. And I may use some of the cup down here. Looks like a lot of the obsidian, that, that dark gray again, is in this cup. Okay, and I also have, I also mixed up an extra cup of the copper. So what I'm going to do before I start tipping is I'm going to add a little bit of the copper to this one. Okay. And now I'll start tipping. Okay, and I'm going to bring it back, and I'm going to bring it down. I'm just gonna get rid of some of that light blue there. I'm gonna run that off a little bit down there. And I'm going to just tip it this way a little bit. And I'm going to run some of that blue off of there also, off of that corner. Just going to tip it this way a little bit here. Okay. I'm going to take a look at it now. And what I'm going to do is, I have some of the obsidian in a little, like a little needle here. I'm just going to add a little bit here and maybe a little bit here. And then I'm going to also add some copper to some of my edges here. And we're going to do a little bit of tipping then. Okay, I'm going to tip down this corner. Okay, 
away. And then I'm going to tip down into this corner. And I'm going to bring it back now. Just going to take a look at the composition here. Not real happy with this black line, so I'm just going to help it out a little bit here. And I may, this one's fine, but this one I'm just not too happy with. So what I think I'll do is add a little more copper on top of that. And do a little more tipping. See if I can improve that a little bit. I'm bringing it back. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it now. And I will torch it. Really, a lot of really pretty things going on in this painting. Okay. Just still looking at this. I think the only thing that I don't like is where I added the copper down here. I think that's a little bit too plain. So what I'm going to do is just See what I can do here with this paint. I can add something here. And tip down a little bit. Now I'm going to bring it back. Okay, I like that better. Much better. And I will get you down for a close-up. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch Da Vinci Pro panel, a wood panel. And I did a multi, I'll torch again real quick, a multi ring pour on it using mostly metallics. And I'm really, really happy with the results here. 
and I will tell you the, the areas that I really like. Okay, we have the upper left-hand corner. Very pretty. Hopefully you can see some of that copper and that bronze shining through there. The lines stayed pretty intact. I do like the lighter area where the gold is. Very pretty. There's some of the blue coming through. Some of that copper again. There's the obsidian coming through. Very, very nice. And I will take you up the middle now. Really nice in here, I got some lacing. Here's a lot of that obsidian in here with the copper. And this is where I just added that blue. I'm getting like I'm getting cells there and this is the upper right hand corner this is a be really beautiful area in here where that blue came through so pretty very pretty in there Got a little bit of lacing, a little bit of cell. And this is the lower <clears throat> right-hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, Take care, everybody. Bye for now.